If you've ever wanted to know what crumb quilting is all about, you're going to want to watch today's video. Hi, I'm Kim Jameson Hurst of ChatterboxQuilts.com. I'm the creator of The Quilter's Way, an online quilt club where members learn and grow in a fun and supportive community. Now, before we get into the crummy details of today's video, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I have a new video. Crumb quilting. You've probably heard people talk about this. You may have heard it as improv quilting, but whatever term you use, what it evolves is taking little pieces of leftover fabric and putting them together to make something. So a couple different ways that you can do this, and I'm going to show you both of them in today's video. So the first way is that you can take a strip of fabric. So it depends on what kind of fabric pieces you have, but probably most of us have some strips left over, right? So take a, take a strip of fabric and then you're going to add other little pieces to it. So I've got a little piece here. I'm going to add this this way. Okay. And it doesn't matter if these pieces are the same size as the strip. You can see that this isn't quite as wide as the strip. It doesn't matter. Just stick them down and you can either pin them if you want, but I find you really don't need to do that. So I'm just taking odd pieces of fabric and putting them on that strip. Now I want to make sure they don't overlap. I want to leave a little space between them. Put my last one on here. And if they extend a little bit past at the edge, it doesn't matter either. So this is kind of part of what I call no brain thinking, no brain uh, stitching, I should say. Just get my machine set up here and I'm working on my Janome uh, M7 today, my Continental M7, this big machine, just in case you're wondering. And then what I'm going to do is I'm using a quarter inch seam, of course, and I'm going to stitch these down. So we put them on that strip, right sides together, and now we're going to stitch them together. Now one's off a little bit here, as you can see, so I need to straighten them back up a little bit, right? But you can do that as you go along, just like I'm doing. And if your quarter inch seam isn't perfect, no worries either. Get this last little guy in here. All right, let's take this out of here. Let me cut off my little leader here. Get that over there. Okay, so here's what I've got. Gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Not really, but that's okay. This is what we're going to do next. I'm just going to cut off the excess fabric there and I'm just going to trim them up here. Not really trim them up, sorry, cut them apart. Okay, I'm not trimming yet. We'll get to that though. And if I want to, I can cut a little bit of this excess fabric off. Now, some of these pieces that I've cut off here, like this one, I'm going to use that, of course. I won't use the selvage. This little guy, well, I think that's a little small to use for even crumb quilting, so away it goes. Now, what am I going to do next? Well, a few things. First off, I need to press these open, right? Now this is kind of a weird looking piece here. Okay, I'm going to trim that down. That's a little much, I think. So let me cut that down. I may keep this guy or I may trim it off a bit too. So these little pieces I'm trimming off here, definitely can use those for the next round of crumb quilting. So let's take these and let's go over here, move things around. I've got all these other things I need to use or I'm going to work on and I can press these out. Now it doesn't really matter which way I press these. I can press it to the smaller piece. I can press it to the bigger piece. Doesn't matter. Usually I use a dry iron. Right now I'm just using the Violet Craft seam roller for demonstration purposes just to get that down. It works pretty well too. Okay, let's be consistent here and I'll press them away from that what was originally a strip. Okay, so I'm going to do that with all of my pieces here. Then the next thing I would do is I want to add them together. I want to build this unit. So I would put them together, probably not like that. What would be the point of that? But like this, let's say, okay, and build them together. Now, in order to do that, I need to have at least one straight edge, okay? I don't have a straight edge on either of these. That one's pretty close, but you can see it should go up that way. So I would trim them up. So I would just take this and it doesn't have to be like straight that way. It could be on, on an angle. Okay, and let's just see, you know, I have it like that. So I could add that along here maybe, okay? So I would put those together and then you're gonna get something that looks like this, all right? So I've got these little guys. You can see these ones came off, these ones here, came off the same strip because there's that same fabric. 
and then I could take these ones and I could put them together, okay? Or I could, if I wanted to, actually I'm gonna use this one here, I could, if I wanted to, add them to another strip. So I could put them on here, say both of them, and I could sew them here and start building out in that way if I wanted to. But basically you're starting off the strip and adding pieces to it. And as I say, as you continue building ones along this strip, you could put them together like this, okay? And then you put these together and then you'd have eight pieces and then you'd have other eight pieces that you join and you just keep building, building, building on those, okay? So that's one way of doing that. Another way of doing that, let me just grab some of my fabrics here and some of these here that I had as offcuts, is to start sewing these pieces together. And I'm trying to look for some little smaller pieces so you can see how that would work. All right, so let's say I take these two pieces here and I put them together. I know it's small pieces, but that's okay. Just think of how many little pieces of fabric you can use by doing this. And if I've got other pieces I want to put together, I'm looking for little tiny pieces. I want to show you little tiny pieces. I can actually put them together. Let's try these like this, let's say. Okay, I'm going to flip that over and do it like that. Alrighty. So, I know these are so small, right? But that's the fun of it. You can just stick whatever you want together because when you have all kinds of small pieces of fabric and you put them together, you know what? They don't have to be the same color or anything. They all just work really well. So I've got these little bitsy pieces here. <laughs> they are little tiny pieces, aren't they? So I do the same thing. I'd come over, I would give them a little bit of a press there. And you can see that in this particular one, especially it's really obvious, that I've got that extra piece of fabric there. Don't leave your roller on an inclined surface. It'll roll right off, right? Okay, so I would trim this up again, and then I could put these guys together, and I could put other pieces on here if I wanted to. I could put other strips along there. I could actually take other pieces that were put together before if I wanted to, use some of those, keep adding them to them. But you can actually start with just all different kinds of little pieces of fabric or little fabric crumbs and put them together. Now, that's fine and dandy. What am I going to do with those things when I'm done? Well, there's lots of things you can do with them, of course. You can use them as blocks. So you can make as big a piece as you want. You can make a huge fabric piece if you want. And then you could cut them into blocks. Uh, they don't have to be square blocks. They could be triangles, whatever you want to cut them into, but something to use to piece into a bigger quilt block, let's say, to put into a top. Or you could actually cut them out and use them as applique. They look pretty cool like that as well. So lots of different things you can do with that. But if you've got small pieces of fabric, don't necessarily throw them away. You don't have to. You can use them and put them into a crumb quilting project. All right, if you wanted to, you could make this just one huge, big crumb quilt. Don't even cut it into blocks. Just keep making this huge piece of fabric. Trim it to whatever you want it to be at the end. I can't imagine doing this, but you could <laughs> do that. You could have a lap size quilt. You could have a wall hang, mug rug, table runner, whatever you want to make with it. You can do that, but it's a way of taking your scrap pieces and repurposing them, reusing them into a new project. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your quilting friends. And if you want more helpful quilting information, go to my website chatterboxquilts.com.